Yo peeps, Warp here, with yet another episode of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Welcome you back, uh, the ones who already watched some of the episodes, and welcoming you um, for the first time, if someone just, just joined us. Always nice to uh, know about the new face. The Pearl. I once did a stint <laughs> in a brothel serving tea. It was complimentary. Fun times. What? Stop playing games, Isabella. We want our Welcome money. to the Pearl. I'm Sanger, the proprietor. Have a seat. Get comfortable. And tell me what you need. Every one of my people here is a skilled craftsman, and don't let anyone tell you different. You'll have to go one at a time, I'm afraid. Our rooms aren't quite big enough to share between so many. But we can discuss that in a moment. So what would you like me to show you? The men or the women? Or some of both, if you prefer. Well... Wait, I thought that it's a brothel? I thought it was a tavern. Very good. Wait here a moment. Now, before you choose one, let me remind you of the guild rules. You see these lovely gentlemen by the door? If you don't play nicely with my people, these boys will have words with you. You'll pay up front, 40 silver. I'm getting tired of throwing soldiers off the pier for forgetting their coin. We're a craft hall, not a public charity. So, shall I let you get acquainted? It's 40, and I don't care whose army you're in. We have taxes to pay, just like everyone else. Wait, there was some... Uh, I've changed my mind. Oh, that's too bad. Come back again. Perhaps we'll have someone who catches your eye. I think you forget who you are speaking to. I will give you a chance to leave quietly. Someone needs to put you in your place. <laughs> Wait, 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 She's too good! Be off with you now, and be glad I only took from you your gold. Ah, the Grey Warden. And I had heard that all the Ferelden Wardens were killed or exiled from this place. Oh, don't look so surprised. I've seen many of your kind in my journeys, and there is always something... odd about you. Huh, <laughs> strong hands. Could I entice you to leave your order and sign up as one of my crewmen? I could use those strong hands at my... Helm. I don't know anything about sailing. The ship is the best teacher. She will guide you with her sighs, her shudders, her gentle swaying as she rides the crests of the waves. When you become one with her, instinct takes over. Your fighting skills are impressive. I assume you saw that little drama, and none of these poor brutes has ever proven a match for me. They are too clumsy and predictable. I fight with quickness and wit, rather than with brute force and strength. I call myself a duelist because I honed my skills in duels with warriors I encountered over the years. Could I duel you? As I said, it is better to avoid being hit, and it is best not to get into fights at all. Then will you teach me what you know? <laughs> An unusual request, coming from a fearsome slayer of Darkspawn. I am flattered that you wish to learn from me, sweet thing. But I have watched you, and you seem to lack a particular grace that is required. You are accustomed to doing battle in a certain way, yes? I can teach you some basics. Perhaps you can pass it on to someone who might be interested in what I have to offer. I do, however, wish to get to know my potential student better. So we shall call for a drink, and you will honor me with a game. Why can't I just duel you instead? What would that accomplish? If I were to defeat you, I may think you too slow and dull for my teachings. And if you were to defeat me, why, I would think that there was nothing I could teach. No. We shall play a game and put aside thoughts of battle. Okay.
Are there no other ways for us to get to know each other? Do you have something else in mind? This was somewhere private that I could, could show you. Uh, do not take this the wrong way. I'm sure you are an impressive lover, but I have no desire for companionship as of right now. Now then, a drink. A round of wicked grace. Else we have no agreement. Not right now. All right. I can see you're busy. Perhaps later then? Perhaps later, indeed. Actually, I would like to ch change my companions because I know I can, I'm off. I can like. You have different dialogue options if I'm here with Zevran. Great, I got lost in the brothel. Okay, cool. Mm. Why can't I chocolate at this time? Dark alley, dark alley. All of the dinner rooms is take. Why can't we go there? Great. Going to dinner and busting trade traffic. Okay, let's go there. Can I please go there? Why are you... Okay, I'm here. Yes. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. You were there. You saw what happened. Yes, I know. I've had some time to think about it now. I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Isle's family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owe the Isle that much. If we can stop the blight, we'll save much more. You're right. Hopefully by that time there's still enough of Ferelden left to save. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh wait, it's not Tuesday, is it? Nope. Hello. Here I am. Okay, to answer some questions. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. What does it take to become an assassin? Well, the crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training, the sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is the desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. It doesn't take any special skill? I don't know about that. It's simply a slightly different skill set from your average killer, as I see it. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth, and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. You always use poison then? I do. 
It is not something inherent in an assassin's <coughs> skills, however. Merely something complementary. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Okay, in and back of the show, the whole break. So I'm gonna talk to you more, because why not? Did you always live in an alienage? Was it very terrible? I had my family. There was joy there too. That is good to hear. I have never been to the Denerim alienage, but I hear that life is hard and there is so much squalor. In Orle, most Alvin servants live in the homes of their masters, often in great wealth and luxury. I didn't know that. I've known Alvin servants were servants of their own. A well trained Alvin servant is highly valued in Orle. They are nimble and dexterous, and many people find them pleasing to look at. Like a prize-winning animal? No, I did not mean it that way. Oh, my words were clumsily chosen. I did not mean to offend. I... Ugh, I am sorry. I am elven, but more than that, I am a person. Of course. I am sorry if I implied otherwise. Thank you. You have given me a lot to think about. Yeah, it's good to, you know, face your unconscious biases and such. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. All right. Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. No, you're a person. Ha, huh, very funny. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. Hey, don't say those things. We still need you. Oh, no. I'm not the sort of person that leaves things unfinished. I'll see this through, I promise. Okay. Hello? Hello? The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. Do you need anything? There are always areas to improve on, Grey Warden. The most useful for my talents are runes. Okay. Good guy. Yes. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. What did you come to Ferdon? To answer a question. What was the question? The Arishok asked what is the blight. By his curiosity, I am now here. What's an Arishok? The one who commands the Antam, the body of the Kunari. So he's your king? Kunari have no kings. What do you have then? Little patience for endless questions. Don't you have to report back then? Yes. So what are you still doing here then? I cannot go Why home. Not? It doesn't matter now. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. What were you doing in that cage? Sitting, as you observed. Very funny. Thank you. Are you going to answer my question? I did. Parshera. Was there anything else? Let's go. As you wish. Okay, so let's talk to Morrigan as well. Why not? Yes? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? <laughs> You are very cute to ask so many questions. 
And you're cute when you're evasive. Really? Perhaps we should be wrapped in ribbons and adorned with flowers. So cute are we, too. <laughs> My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Fun? You found it fun? I found the game fun. I was too young to understand the truth behind what was happening. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. I used you as a bait. It was a game and I a young girl. If I didn't get to play, I would have been very upset. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. What exactly is an apostate? You do not know. The zealots use that word for any magic they do not control. The Chantry sees any mages not leashed to the Circle of Magi as apostates. And apostates could become Maleficarum, evil mages that resort to blood magic and become demon-enslaved abominations. It may even be true. Still, those of us who prefer freedom see no reason to submit. I agree completely. Oh, I hope you're not simply being agreeable. It would be a refreshing change. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Okay. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Let me see your work, Bottom. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Actually, I think I'd like to sell you something. Okay, first let's equip uh, our team. Or just long sword. Okay. Gradient's bow. I think, I think we're done here. Let's sell. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Yes, yes, whatever. I This stuff and this stuff. This may be useful later on. Uh, okay, good. Let's change our team a little bit. Yes. Yes. Indeed. And let's go to the pearl again. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I've something to ask you. Seeing as we're in Denerim now, I'm wondering if we might be able to look someone up. Give a friend outside of the Grey Wardens. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. Have you contacted her? No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. 
What are you expecting she will do? I'm not sure. I don't know anything about her except her name and where she lives. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. It is. So let's, let's talk to this uh, chunk first. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And oh. turns it against his children. They shall be named Malefica, a curse We finished the quest. They shall find no rest okay, in good, this world good, good or to beyond. Know. I was getting to that part. So oh, let's go to the pearl. Yes! Again and play with. Oh my gosh, again. Who is it this time? Oh, no one? Oh, great. All right, because I I don't know. Now let's see which one. Oh, so Could do that for you. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. Well, none of you can open it, so you guys are useless anyway. Okay, let's just take the money and go. And now let's talk to Isabella and see if that changes anything. Welcome back, Grey Warden. And what can Isabella do for you today? I'd like to play a game. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I or would you like to? You shuffle them. Very well. There. That should be sufficient. Five cards each to start with. And may the cleverest player win. Ah, a wonderful card for me. Try to catch Isabella's hand as she's drawing a card. Oh, so she's cheating. Cheating, I see. You certainly have quick reflexes. I'm quite impressed. And as for me cheating, well, the game does not matter. I just wanted to see if you could outwit me. You have proven yourself quick and resourceful, and I would be honored to pass my skills on to you. Teach me now. Come, we will need some space for this. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I can teach you. Perhaps tell those you meet where you learned what you know. Okay, that was slightly disappointing. I guess let's uh, go back to the market district and talk to uh, Goldana, what's her name? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, let's okay, go here and talk with uh, Goldana. But that should happen in the next episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, this episode wasn't as eventful as I expected it to be, but I hope it's still fun. Um, see you next time. Like and subscribe, and etc. And you know, bye bye.